Welcome back guys, the Nvidia RTX 3080 Ti is finally here and it's meant to fill the price gap between the RTX 3080 and the RTX 3090. Compared to both of them, we can see it has more Nvidia CUDA cores than the 3080 and almost as many as on the 3090. Boost clocks are pretty similar but it has half the memory of its bigger brother. The memory bus width has also been increased to 384 bit. Clearly the performance should be the same and the 3090 will now only appeal to content creators. The recommended selling price is $1200 so price between the younger and the bigger brothers. Let's now unbox it and see how MSI has customized the cooling of this card. It comes with three big fans called Trifrozer 2S built with a ring design to focus airflow and air pressure into the heatsink. The memory modules have their own dedicated heat pipe that runs to a dedicated heatsink. Of course there is a gigantic heatsink that covers the whole board for optimal heat dissipation. Some other advantages of the MSI design include a dual BIOS for gaming or silent modes, additional fuses for protection and a thickened copper layer inside the PCB. It's a big card and it measures 336 by 140 by 61 mm and has a weight of almost 2 kilos, so that's why MSI have provided a rigid metal anti-bending strap in the package. Because of its huge cooler, the 3080 Ti Supremix will take up to 3 of your expansion slots. The design of the backplate is one of the best I've seen lately and has a lot of attention to detail with a two-tone brushed metal design and a glossy logo. As for the display options, it has the same usual 3 display ports and 1 HDMI like other flagship models. I like the fact that it retains the 8-pin PCIe connectors, but now there are 3 required with a minimum 750 watts of power. I would have loved to see 4 display ports this time or a second HDMI port. Speaking of size, the card is a lot bigger than my 2080 Ti as you can see and it barely fits in my Fractal Design Nano S case. Fortunately, I have managed to get it in and I like that it also has an array of RGB LEDs pretty similar to ASUS design. Specs wise, it's a lot more powerful with more than double the CUDA cores, way faster memory and a bigger memory bus width. Stay tuned as in the next video we are reviewing the gaming performance and also compare it to the 2080 Ti. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe the channel for more content like this. See you soon with the gaming benchmarks.